the video corner. It has been brought to my attention that there's a couple of products that everyone needs a little bit of help understanding, getting used to. So I enlisted my beautiful model here, Mira. Say hi. And, she, and she's going to help me demonstrate a bunch of different products so you guys can get a feel for them and see how they're used. Um, and hopefully it'll help you use them the right way. So the first thing that I want to go over with you guys is the rainbow cakes. Because what's happening is a lot of people are loading them wrong, which is uh, making them not be able to use them as properly as they'd like to or not get the desired effect. So this one is a neon rainbow cake. These are fantasy sponges. If you can find them, take as many as you can. I'm hoping to carry them at Silly Farm soon, but they're just seriously the best sponges that ever walk the earth. And I can never find them. Anyways, I ordered them. So, um, rainbow cakes are just large uh, split cakes. So this is one that's new this month. This is one that's like my all-time favorite. But I want to show you guys how to use them properly so you get the maximum effects out of it. So you want to dampen your sponge in water. And you want it damp. You don't want it soaking because what's going to happen if you get it soaking, all the colors are going to bleed. Now sometimes people ask me if you should spritz these. I say no because if you spray water directly onto them, then they're going to start running. So you want your sponge wet, not soaking, so that when you squeeze it, right, it's wet? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe my sponge directly across my rainbow cake, okay? So that I'm loading all of the colors on there. It's very important that when you go to lay it on the skin, whether you're using it on the face, which I'll do next, when you press it on the skin, you don't swipe. You want to pat it so that when you pat it, you get all of the colors from your rainbow cake. A lot of the time, people just try to swipe, and what happens is then you get that really blotchy effect, and that's not what you're looking for. You want this really nice blended. So I'm going to show you again one more time. So I'm going to do the same thing with this rainbow cake. I'm going to dampen my sponge, rub it across the surface of the rainbow cake so that I'm getting all of the colors on my sponge. And again, if you could hold up your arm like this, kind of turn it this way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, again, pat it down so that I get this really nice blend. And I'm going to show you how to use this in an eye design, and hopefully I'll have time to do some other videos. But you see what happens is you get a really nice blend from this effect. When you press down on the sponge, what you're doing is pushing out the color, which is really important. When you drag it, all you're doing is just dragging the color. This is going to give you that really soft um, look, which a lot of people like. Okay, so the next thing that I want to go over with you guys, can you turn the inside of your arm? I'm going to use her whole arm for this one. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys or go over with you guys is the, they're not necessarily new, but they're new to Silly Farm, um, are the Ben Nye Magic Cakes. And what they are, are just like your normal Krylon, Maron, Snazaroo. The only difference is that they're a powder-based paint, which means they don't melt. Um, now the upside is that they don't melt. And while I'm in South Florida, it's really hot, humid, so this is a great alternative for me. The downside is that they require a little bit more water to activate them. So, um, again, this is just a damp sponge. I'm just rubbing it against the surface. And then you'll see how intense this color is. Like this is the, um, I believe it's the cosmic blue or the Tahitian blue. And it's really nice and vibrant, which is why I just love that color. And if you mix it, with just a little bit on the same sponge. I'm going to mix it with my metallic white from Wolf. Look at how amazing this color turns out. So that's it without it. This is it with mixed with a little bit of metallic white. So you get that really beautiful pearlescent blue. So by adding just a little bit of that metallic white to a strong color like, um, like this magenta, this is uh, magenta from the Ben Nye. By adding just a little bit, so I'm gonna just lay it down by itself. 
and it's really intense and bold the colors but once you add just a little bit of that metallic white it changes the entire color which is why I like it so much see how beautiful pearlescent that becomes so this is a way for you guys to learn to use those magic cakes now if you're choosing to use your brush with it initially when you put water right on top of it it might even it might even beat up so what you need to do is lay or spray some uh, like almost like a puddle of water on top and work it around until you get it to a creamy consistency which is what I'm doing and once you do you can paint with it just like you would your wool for your snazaroo and it just is a beautiful beautiful paint but you notice how it dries faster this keeps it from melting so that's important to know with these paints I really enjoy them for sponging and blending because uh, once they're dry they stay right another thing to know and um, about the Ben Nye magic cakes is they are still a water-based face paint just like Krylon just like Paradise the difference is because they're a powder based paint they dry faster and they stay on the skin a tad bit longer than would a cream base because they automatically dry on the skin so they smudge just a little bit less but they still remove with soap and water now if your kid or you're the person you're painting profusely sweats yes it's still gonna run because of the property of the paint this is still a water based paint um, but in terms of drying time and uh, and, and ease of use because it's so hot outside this product has worked really good for me so and it's just beautiful in colors like I love these colors you almost can't find them anywhere so hey play around with a few of them see how you like them